you know, perhaps it's not my concern, but I'm glad you and Yennefer have ended up together. Me too. You took your time. <laughs> Guess we both needed a while to grapple with it. So, what was it like? You know, when the wish lost its hold? What did you feel? <sighs> well, there we were, the two of us, on the mountaintop. I looked at her and... and felt like I was exactly where I was supposed to be, at long last. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town. Not worry a whit about anything. Good plan. Think I'll go with you. Then our future's settled. If that is, there's more than Ash left of us once this is over. Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning, for me at least. What do you mean? <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Being a witch is a burden sometimes. As is my inheritance. I'd so like to be ordinary. Problem is, you're not. You were born to greatness. As I've been hearing since I was born. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. to meet all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands, not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. If you say so. You doubt it? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. Bonfires, wine, jugglers. What more could you ask for? I could name a few things I'd trade it for. But it's a life. You seem concerned. Things not go well with the merchant. <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses. But we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Oh, of course. This concerns us. This does concern me. These are my friends. They'll manage on their own. If Siri wishes to ride with us, she should. She's not your property. I 
won't let her risk her neck for thieves. What is this? Have you gone mad? We were to revel, not to punch each other to a pulp. Out of falling out with Ciri's companion. Siri, much as I hate to say it, I think it's time the two of you left. I know. The magic's gone. Sorry. I'm going down to the riverside. I want to take a walk, be alone for a bit. Sorry for that. You've no need to apologize for acting according to your nature. I'll meet you back at Dandelions. Those in need. Yes, yes, yes! I must say, you didn't seem the type to me. What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables. 